2007. Mm -hmm. Okay, like I say, that's normal right there. There's nothing wrong with that. Now this is in pretty good shape. This truck is in great shape. The sun hasn't did its number on it. What I do first is I take a microfiber towel because the microfiber towel has a little cut to it. It's mm -hmm. not like a regular uh, rag or whatever. Yeah. In fact, when you apply wax, you want to use one of these. Then I take my buffer and I put it on like about a thousand. That's another thing, when you buff something, you don't need it at a super high RPM. This will be the only only truck like this around. You're not going to run into another one. I've done like 500, and I think this is about 15 or 16 around the United States when I'm on an over spray project or something, and mm -hmm. I see one of these trucks. I ask them if they want it done. From that, looking really sweet, which I can see your your house pretty good. And there's nothing wrong with this, but this is just the way it is, factory. Flat and dry, as millions and millions are. But this one right here, friend, yours ain't like that. It looks good. All right, give you another view right here. And that's not the finish finish, because of course, just like anything else, you're gonna go over it, you know. But that's factory there, nothing wrong with that. Now, now you can wax this. If you're waxing your car, you don't have to worry about getting, you wanna get it on there, you yeah. wanna wax this now. I can see the trees and everything perfectly. And then we have the spot right here that I left. Like I said, I have one more thing to do to that, but I wait till the entire vehicle is finished before I do that. But that's very good there. And now what I'm going to do is just barely go over this front hood here just to take out any of the spider webs. And again, the buffer is at 1,000 RPMs. I do that and use a nice fluffy wool pad because that keeps it from swirling. Jack her down low. She's getting there. We may have to flip it around been now. Fixed like mine yet. But no, they all look like this brand new money. It's not a flat. It's like, what'd you say? Matt. It Matt, it. yeah. M A T T E. Not exactly flat, but yeah. And it's got like a, a soft glow, like a soft, you know, to it. Semi gloss, but it's dull, dull, but Matt. Factory, nothing wrong with that. Now 
That's polished right there. And just throw some wax on it every now and then and it'll stay looking like this. And you got this one. Now we're gonna work on this one now. Perfect. That totally changed. It even, like I say, it changes the texture of it. And now it's it's like it's clear coated. You can you can uh, wax it. In fact, you want to wax it. That looks good right there. See those trees in the background? All right, now we'll flip her around. Even get the top edge up here. Yeah, this one right here, this would be a good one for you to have around the house. No trick. Apply wax. What, what I did right now is if there was any swirls in it at all, I just removed them because what I do is uh, that BC2 is like I showed you in the green. Very, very little abrasive. The lightest that you can get. Right. And then I'll go over it with this which that thing moves like that and that action there takes out the swirl. Always wax your vehicle. They have told me, oh, oh, whatever you do. What they're afraid of is, is uh, you as a customer are going to take it somewhere and have somebody buff it with a compound. But as far as waxing your vehicle, you have to wax it. And I'm going to set you up with some good stuff. Just going to beat sundown Look, here. Do a little walk around. Oh, that's looking nice. All right. Polish the tail lights also. You can see how they're all sweet. And come on this side over here. Look at that. This is a GMC. Alright. Remove the overspray. He was painting his house. And I did my custom auto trim package for Chevy and GMC.